Hey everyone, it's Ashley, your independent sensing consultant. Welcome back to my channel. So I have a fairly small haul, but I had a customer order I needed to put in. And also I got some holiday warmers I wanted to, well, one of them's holiday. I got some warmers I wanted to share with you. Um, I don't have much to necessarily talk about in this video. I got a base for my diffuser. I know I was telling you guys in my uh, flash sale haul where I got the shade that I was ordering a base. So I used some half price credits to get the base. And then I used some free credits to get these warmers. And then I do have a local customer who is pod obsessed. So I have some pods. So uh, my local customer wanted to do kind of like a fall set and a winter set, if you will. So for the fall set, they chose Baked Apple Pie, Joy and Wonder. This is from the holiday collection, but this is a really good one. And then also some Cozy Cardigan. Can't go wrong with Cozy Cardigan. I was like, yes, definitely Cozy Cardigan. And then for more of their like winter order, they did Very Merry Cranberry, Dancing Sugar Plums, and then Very Snowy Spruce can't be without various noise spruce. So I have that order for them um, that just came in and then I'll be dropping that off. And then while I figured I was doing that, I did two more warmers. So let me show you the two warmers I got. I really kind of wanted this video to more be dedicated to the warmers. So let's get into it. The first warmer I got is the pellet warmer. And let me grab a catalog. It looks way better in person. Like you guys know how it goes. Things always look better in person, but this is no exception. Um, honestly, and you guys are going to crack up. The reason why I got this, okay, here is the palette warmer. It kind of looks like rose gold and gray purple-esque in that picture. I mean, am I wrong? Am I wrong? Okay. Here is what she looks like in person. To me, which I watched videos before I ordered this, of course, and I was like, what does she really look like? So to me, yes, this is still a rose gold at the bottom. We have like a white more band at the top. Let me just take this out. We have more white bands at the top, a little bit of like neutral gray in the middle and then pretty light pink at the bottom if i do say so myself um also look at that she sparkles and it's not the sparkles that get like on your fingers i tested that as well <laughs> um but it does have like these little lines and you can feel them like these little ridges uh almost like it's like a ribbon around you know what I mean so let me show you that picture again I just don't feel like that picture but also I have this warmer going in my office right now and I feel like it looks way better in person as well but this one I really was thinking it would be more purple and it definitely that's not the case if you're a pink fan like myself I think this is up your alley the reason I wanted this warmer though, besides the fact that I was like, it's probably gonna look really good in pink once I watch some videos, um, look at this dish. This dish is absolutely massive. Um, I'm trying to see if I have like a non, like a, like a warmer that doesn't have wax in it. This is the charred warmer dish. Just a regular old prime medium size dish. This is the palette warmer dish. Do I need to say any more? Look at this. It's more shallow, but in my opinion, the wider, the more area your wax can spread out, the more it can like, the scent oils can escape. If you put four cubes in this, you're gonna get way better scent throw from this in my opinion. So once I seen how large this was, and like, I don't know if I've seen a real comparison next to this size of a dish, but that speaks for itself in my opinion. <laughs> so I, once I saw that, I was like, okay, I'm sold. I have to get that warmer because I have reduced the amount of warmers 
in my space and the fall scents haven't been as much of a struggle but i know when spring summer comes when the scents are lighter anyway i'm gonna have trouble with throw just because i've really reduced the warmers back i was blowing fuses you guys know the drill so i've reduced them down um but i think this not only is it gorgeous it's gonna be a really good performer and it has a 25 watt light bulb so let me turn it on for you oh gosh I think it's absolutely stunning let me see if I can get closer look at that wow don't mind my face so on camera I feel like it looks more gray and you can like see the like just where the light bulb is I feel like it's not doing it there that's a little better um i feel like when you look at it the light bulb's very diffused like you can tell there's a light bulb in there but it also looks very very light pink and glittery i love that and so i feel like the bottom's not as reflective once it's on because the focus is more on the light bulb um but this is going to be a really good performer you guys also it's a clear dish so it's going to let a bit of light out but you're going to put wax in there so um yeah, if you put one cube in this, it'll be the thinnest wax bowl you've ever seen. Like, it's so big, you guys. I know I'm going on about the dish, but I just, I want to compare this to the Polar Panorama because that had the biggest dish I've ever seen. And this might be bigger. Like, <laughs> I'm obsessed, you guys. Oh, okay, let me see if I can get out this next warmer. This next warmer is sold out, but I do believe it's coming back into stock. Let me just look really quickly. I do think they are not, there was a collection of three. It's the All Aglow warmers. They all sold out. The green is out of stock. The white and the gray say they're coming back into stock soon. They don't have a return date but it did say they're going to be restocked. So I got the white, it's on the box, so you can't see it very well. Um, I got the white, I'm so glad I took this out of the packaging. This had that styrofoam packaging, that's my absolute nemesis. I understand why things have to be packaged that way, but this isn't going back in the packaging because I cannot deal with that packaging. So. I'm gonna leave this out probably like I have Wednesday off uh, just in preparation you know like Thanksgiving me and Corey took some time off so I will probably use some of those days to switch out my holiday warmers I just don't know if I have the energy to do that today but this is gonna have to stay out until then if I like actually take it somewhere and plug it in it will be a different story but at least now till Wednesday it will stay out of the box so just fair warning if you haven't got yours yet or if you plan on rebuying it when it comes back into stock because it's stunning, it has that gross styrofoam packaging. Okay, so this is the white, which was the medium size. So I don't know if you can kind of tell like how big it is. I think it's a me. I mean, I can't imagine the large one. It has to be massive. But because it is the medium size, it does come with a 20 watt bulb. So this is very similar to the Treetops Glisten. If you guys pick that warmer up, which I also did and I think it's gonna go really well together because this one is like white and gold can you see that and the other one's gold it's gonna look really cool together so it's kind of like a white gold situation the top comes off and then it has your wax dish these wax dishes are interesting I mean I would maybe put a cube in here let me get out my best friend here. Just showing some comparison here. I would literally, I don't like to put more than two cubes in things with not big dishes. I mean, the diamond melt glass has a pretty big dish. Sometimes I'll do three. I would feel comfortable maybe putting three cubes in there just cause that's a pretty, pretty wide dish. Diamond melt glass has a pretty big dish too, but it's an element warmer. So I think that you know it, it speaks for itself <laughs> so this is pretty it's not much deeper than a regular dish but also it's not that wide so i would maybe put a cube in here 
This is a 20 watt light bulb. However, I'm truly shocked. I hope this will come across on camera. Can you see the light bulb there? It looks really good how they have like the spot you screw it in. It's all white inside there. It doesn't look like hideous in the inside. And thank goodness it's not like black or something. Okay, I put the dish on because if you put on this without the dish, I just find it doesn't quite sit right just because the, the dish is supposed to be there. So, okay, here's the dish on. Do you guys see where the light bulb is? There's not even a half inch between the two. This is gonna get, this is gonna do well. I have a feeling this is gonna be a good performer. That is on, I literally put the dish on and I was like, is this touching the light bulb? Like that is the closest I have seen. Well, I did have one, I don't think I bought the warmer, but I was looking at one warmer before I got really into Scentsy that I was watching reviews and somebody's like, the dish literally hits the light bulb and like so it doesn't go on all the way and i was like now we are talking like that is way too close so let me plug this in but that is really close i am still honestly shocked about that because that's wild but i would think it would do really well i know some people don't like 20 watts for that reason but you guys i think this could be a good one so <laughs> It's stunning. It leaves such, it just looks so cool. And I feel like it's so modern yet farmhouse in a way, modern farmhouse. <laughs> um, just because like the leaves are spaced, they're not all together, but it's also white and gold. So, so it's like kind of rustic, kind of modern, kind of like this gold white chic vibe. You know what I mean? And I think next to the gold treetops glisten, it's going to look really cool. So I'm just really glad I went with the white one because they also did the silver and the green. And I just, not that I don't love a green tree. We have a green tree, but I don't know that I want a green tree. Like I would prefer this. And if I had a white tree, I'd be all about it. So I think just having this, and I didn't realize it had this gold accent on it. I kind of just thought it was like a distressed white. So I'm really excited now to put it next to my treetops glisten. So that was a deeper look into both of those warmers. Uh, I did get my diffuser base, like I said, my premium diffuser base. So if you guys want to see anything about that, just let me know. I feel like there's a ton of videos about the premium diffuser, but I think I got a pretty good deal on it because I got the base for half off which I think was like $42.50. And then I picked up a shade in the clearance for $15. So I have a premium diffuser for about $60. You really can't beat it considering some of them are $160 if you buy the like shade and the base all together. So you guys, I don't think you can beat it. And now I can just buy new shades when I want. So I really think this one's really cool, but I was like, I'm not going to spend the money until I know I love it. Uh, but I've only used it like twice and I, I really like it. So I'm glad I went that route. But honestly, if you guys are thinking about going and wanting to get a premium diffuser, let's set you up a shopping link, get your diffuser base for half off. Um, and then buy a shade in the clearance. That was like the best route I think I ever could have taken. So uh, yeah, that's all I have for this video today. Let me know what you think down below. Let me know if you got any of the All Glow warmers or if you were waiting to see some reviews and then they sold out and you panicked. Um, the white and the silver should be coming back into stock. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you next time.